Tackling some track bed renewal along the single line section around the back of the shed is long overdue. Last year I concreted the sections linking up with Lindley Station but left the mid-section of the loop untouched. Lindley's Garden Railway doesn't have any trains running currently over the winter season so this allows the engineering teams to take possession of the track and redo sections, improve and finish off installations. Today's task is to clear the rubbish along the trackway, lift the track panels, clear out all the wooden track bed timbers, tidy up and concrete through. This will leave the loop in a great condition, ready for the installation of the DLC or Decentralised Logic Control System for managing train movements in this section of the railway. Hi, I'm Warren Brandon. Welcome to another Lindley's video. Having dispensed with a ridiculous quantity of twig and leaf litter, the first practical step in this project is the removal of the hold down screws and then the pulling apart of the track panels. The track is screwed down through the plastic sleepers with stainless steel screws and they come out really easily with the electric driver. The Pico Nickel Silver track lengths are truly sturdy items. They've been down here for about five years and have stayed in place even though the timber layer underneath has become soft and in some places even disappeared. I hadn't added conductor links to aid continuity of the power supply along the track and just relied on the metal joiners. Mostly they've been okay but sometimes they've needed crimping up a bit tighter. When I relay the track I will add some conductor link cables to ensure the electrical power is supplied along the full length of the track. With the track all up, the removal of the old timber work is really easy. Some pieces are still mostly intact, whilst others are just virtually soft mush between the steel sides. The concrete depth needs to be about 40 millimetres at points where there's just soil below, so I need to clear out some of the soil in the trackway. Where there are support blocks or slab stones, the depth will just be about the depth of the steelwork and that's about 25 millimetres. That's okay, as the foundation stones and slabs are very firm and well settled in place now. Now that the steel sides are left clear, I can just check through to make sure the whole construction site is ready for the concrete delivery. This will arrive in a series of large delivery trucks, mixed off site and delivered in a carefully timed sequence of drops. Let's 
take a quick view of the specialised mixing plant where the concrete will be mixed and prepared. I've ordered a mix of sharp sand to cement of 4 to 1, so it's a slightly richer mix than normal. I've made it very clear to the suppliers that I like a reasonably dry mix to lay leaving a top water shine but no water runoff or slumpage. On its arrival to the track site I will check very carefully the consistency of the concrete delivery. The first delivery, right on time, is moved in, ready to unload. The team of staff set to transfer the concrete to the track bed are on hand and set to work in a well-organised and rehearsed routine. I'm sure you'll agree that the professionalism of the team is utterly impressive. True skill and abilities that they're demonstrating are shining brightly on site today. As each delivery is received, the concrete is fully tamped down into the trackway, so there are no air pockets or gaps. The top surface is trimmed and finished by a traditional method, relying on the skill and expertise of the team. The consistency of the concrete is spot on just how it was specified. I think it would be fair to pop in an email back to the concrete suppliers to thank them for their quality control and delivery standard today. As the afternoon continued on, the whole line section was completed. The team have worked so well today and should be very proud of their achievements. There was a little surplus delivery and that was just enough to set a few more edging stones in along the side next to the compost area. 
There's more development work to do here to tidy up the look of the compost handling area in this part of the garden. To conclude the day, a little tidy up of bits and pieces will leave the area ready for the next stage in the project. Right at the end of the video here, there are links to other videos on the Linley's channel. Do take a look at one of these if you have time. It would be great if you gave the video a thumbs up as well. It all helps to keep the channel ticking along. Thank you. Next time, the engineering team will cut in the cable groove which runs along the track bed under the sleepers. This will be where the cable bundle of wires goes, tucked out the way as part of the DLC system. More about that next time. Thanks for watching and bye for now.